Okay, so I'll ask you guys a question. I know I'm not the only one. Have you ever come across something theoretically in music that's just mind boggling? Like that doesn't make sense. Why is it that way? Why is that the rule? So the difference between a minor six chord and a major six chord, let me just play it for you. That is a C major six chord played on the bass. We have the C, we have our A, and then we have an E. So we have the first note, sixth note, and the octave of the third note. But if I wanted to arpeggiate this and play it as a full chord, I will play one, three, five, six. Okay, so that will be one, three, five, six. It's not a seven chord. You don't include the seven chord in a six chord. Okay, if that makes sense. Anyway, so the major six chord, is made up of the major scale or whatever major scale you're using at the time. That sixth note needs to be in there, that A. So that that's why we will play it, C, A, E. On the bass, so we can play it a different inversion, but this is the normal way to play that chord on the bass. So for the minor six chord, check it out. This is a major six, this is a minor six. What did I change? So you see the difference between the minor six and the major six, it's not the six. So I'm like, what the hell? Like, why does that not, why does that make sense? Why does that, why is it that way? So that's one of those rules that just applies. And the same thing goes with the nine chord. We'll get there in a second. So major chord, minor six chord, right? Major six, minor six. The element that's changing is the third, right? That third note is changing. So if my third note in a major scale or, or sorry, in a minor scale, take for instance the uh, the Dorian or the Aeolian um, natural minor scale, that will be an E flat. Okay, so the third will be an E flat. The note will be an E flat. So that's where that note comes from. So I have in a minor six chord, I have the one flat three, five, major six or natural six still stays the same. And then a minor three, the same exact same exact note i'm just playing it in this way so i can play it on the bass <laughs> so that's the difference between a minor six chord and a major six chord right so that's just one of those weird rules when you come into learning about chords and you're playing a, a six chord and trying to figure out okay i'm playing a minor six so why isn't that six a minor six because in the key of c minor you think that six will be would be an a flat so you thinking okay uh, i should play I can play a minor, you know, seven. Well, it's hard to play a minor seven and a minor six at the same time. So let's. So why shouldn't that be a minor? Why isn't that called a minor six chord? You know what I mean? So you may come across that and think like, okay, yeah, I'm playing the right note, but that's that's not technically a minor six chord. That's a minor six chord. Okay. But anyway, hopefully you got something out of this. Hopefully you follow along pretty clearly hopefully i made this a little clear i'll make it more clear with things that i'll put up on the screen as well but anyway if you have any more questions or want to learn more about the chords course and just in general or just chords in general which is a huge um theoretically it's just a huge world to be in once you start learning about chords it'll open up your mind uh that much more to figure out what you can do and be and you know create as a bass player uh you have a foundation of what to use uh, musically along with the band. You don't want to just be the bass player that's just playing root notes and only knows that I can only play the root note and not know any other notes that you can play inside of the bass line. Uh, so yeah, we don't want to be that bass player. I'm here to help you with that. So make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise like I always say, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Keep it funky. Peace.